Some are calling it a sick start to the 2024 new year with seasonal virus activity surging across the U.S. The latest data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reveals tens of thousands of people are being admitted into hospitals each week for one of three illnesses. Those illnesses are the flu, COVID-19 and RSV. Here's what you and your family can do to stay healthy. Having all three diseases circulating at the same time can put an extra burden on our healthcare system. Medical professionals say the triple threat, RSV, COVID, and the flu has resulted in longer wait times for doctor appointments and even hospital visits. The Centers for Disease Control releasing new data about the widespread impact of the respiratory illnesses right after the holidays. According to the CDC, during the week of December 23rd, there were more than 29,000 patients admitted to hospitals with COVID-19. Roughly 15,000 people were admitted with the flu, thousands more have been diagnosed with RSV. CDC data also reveals weekly trips to the emergency room rose 12 percent and hospitalization spiked about 17 percent. What do you think are some of the reasons for the uptick in all these respiratory illnesses? We, we see this at this time of year every year. You know, people come together from all over the world and all over the country. People are bringing all types of viral infections from different locations and gathering in closed areas and close areas, which is how these respiratory viruses get transmitted. Dr. Mohamed Reza with Reza Health says the majority of cases he's seeing in North Florida are people sick with COVID-19, followed by locals who have the flu, adding his office hasn't seen as many cases of RSV. All three illnesses have similar symptoms, which makes it difficult to diagnose. It's why Reza offers this advice for symptomatic Floridians. What we're recommending is people get tested as soon as they can, as soon as symptoms have started. Reza says rapid tests for COVID and the flu are inexpensive and reliable, but adds RSV tests and treatments can be pricey. He says the majority of middle-aged Americans who aren't immunocompromised should be able to resolve the sickness on their own with rest and hydration. Vaccines can also help prevent severe illness and death, but CDC data reveals Americans are hesitant to get the shot. According to the data, just 19 percent of adults and 8 percent of children have received the latest COVID-19 vaccine. 17 percent of adults have got the new RSV vaccine and less than 50 percent of adults and kids have received the flu vaccine this season. This virus can still put grandmother, grandfather, elderly people or immunocompromised people in the hospital. We're seeing that more and more. So, you know, as people come together, make sure to get tested. Um, and if you are coming together, doing things outdoors, keeping windows and doors open, washing your hands. That's just so important to prevent infections in general, bacterial or viral infections. And speaking of prevention, whether you're a fan of them or not, masks continue to be the most effective deterrent of virus and germs, along with washing your hands several times a day, according to medical professionals.